What is up, y'all? You know what channel you're watching. I'm Patrick. It's getting late in the evening. It's been a gorgeous day. I've been in and out of the shop trying to clean up this fucking mess. It's like motorcycles exploded in my shop. But I'm back out here on the grind. I was kind of revisiting some paint stuff I was doing earlier. You guys check these out and tell me what you think. These are why I love the marble effect. As you can see, I got like a copper, I did a purple, I did a green. I'm sorry if the glare is fucking this up. But a red, I did a yellow and silver, silver and green. This one here is actually a crackle finish. It ain't a marble. This one here, I did like a double marble where I did it one color and then did it another color. And the same thing with this one, you can kind of see the blue in it. But these are kind of the colors I was wanting to put on my project bike. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm up in the air. I love this marble technique because it's just the graphics are so fucking wild. I love them. And I love all these colors. Honestly, you should see these in the sunlight because when it's laying flat, it's, it's hard to get. But And these are just test samples done on bullshit pieces of sheet metal and they're a little beat up because I shuffle them around looking at them all the time but you know let me let me know what you guys think I mean that's for your people to dig green a purple one's pretty wicked I like purple plum crazy purple but just down here in the shop moving shit around got the stereo going like I said, as you can see, it is it is a fucking mess, man. I've been neglecting the fuck out of this motherfucker. Uh, there's my 99 Katana 750 Project bike. Dusty as hell. Because I'm a lazy bastard. But I'm probably going to pull this bike off of here, it and all its parts, and set it to the side for now so I can get my bike on the stand and get it straightened out for riding season because fuck riding season's pretty much here I could have rode today but I got a bad plate no insurance and leaky clutch and dumb fucking shit but uh that's here and there uh I am most likely wanting to start on this project here which looks like just a hodgepodge of loose shit because that's what it is at this point but I got big 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 plans for this this is the one that I'm gonna make from the ground up frame everything it will be a hardtail bike uh, it was originally a oh god 84 Suzuki GS 450 ES it was like the G the the crotch rocket version of the 450 GS bikes. Had all the body work on it and whatnot. Which of course dude wrecked it eight ways of Sunday and half that shit was missing. This all took apart. I got it for next to nothing. I know it run or I know it ran. So the motor's good is, is the point. Everything else don't matter. I already did kind of half ass start polishing these forks, which is one of the things I do. When I say you can make anything cool, basically, my repertoire is paint, polish, uh, a little bit of vinyl graphics, you know, I think if you're creative, you can, you can make some cool shit on your own. Uh, LED lights, LED lighting is way easier than you might think. I know I'm just kind of giving you just bullshit glare, you know, view of everything that's all this crap in my shop, but... Uh, yeah, that's my thing. Between the combination of paint, polish, LEDs, vinyls, man, you can make some cool shit. I'm starting to get my goddamn tools put back. I got stuff everywhere. It is just... It's almost more of a storage unit than a goddamn shop right now. It 
pisses me off. I'm so fucking lazy. There's my welder set up over in the corner. Full on fucking gas shielded welding set up. I hate flux core. I prefer a regular MIG with a shielding gas. Way, way, way cleaner. Way easier to do. There's some more of my Harbor Freight shit. My compressor. It's nice having it up off the floor, out of the fucking way. I don't have to dick with it. I can put shit under it and whatnot. Look at my workbench. My God. What a slob. What a fucking slob. <sighs> Hopefully, the next time you see this shit, it does not look like this. Because right now, it is a fucking hot mess. I walked in here earlier, and it's just like, where the fuck do I even start? Just crap everywhere. POWs, MIAs. Gone but not forgotten. That right there is the old nose piece off my bike because I did have a pretty severe low side one time. You can't look at my bike and tell now because I did a shitload of work and spent a shitload of money and corrected all that shit. But that nose piece, I'm going to restyle completely and put on the front of this 99 Katana. But I'm gonna change it all around. I'm gonna cover up the original headlight hole. This one here is gonna be completely covered. If you look, there's little ram air holes down here. I got two little cat eye fog lights that I'm gonna use for headlights when I put that on the Katana. And this stuff here, where you see the turn signal. Sorry, I'm a shitty cameraman. I'm going to convert that into a ram air that comes down the side of this bike into an air box. It, it's big talk and big plans, and I know, but I think it's a cool idea. I, this I'm actually going to call the Joker bike because I'm going to paint this motherfucker green and put a giant question mark graphics all over it. Well, not giant everywhere. It's going to start big in the front and get smaller as it goes back. But this is actually supposed to be my wife's bike. <laughs> you, you can see I'm, I'm hard at work on the wife's bike. But well, there he is. What's up, killer? That's my dog, Truck. I call him that because he's just a big, dumb, runaway truck. My wife's out here, too, but she hates being on camera. But y'all see, it's, it's just an explosion of shit. And this is where I'm at. I'm gonna get my bike on the lift. Harbor Freight 299. I don't care what anybody says, you can't fucking beat that. Uh, I heard somebody say one time, be careful, because when they're only halfway up, they can tip forward. And that is fucking true. If you put a bunch of weight on the front of this thing and it's only on that first notch, it will fucking tip forward. But if you're not a moron and you're careful, there's no reason for you to be actually standing on the front of your fucking lift anyway. But this thing is great, and it was cheap. But, Jesus Christ, I can't get over the fucking mess in here. I'm a fucking slob. But, been out here chilling today. Like I said, I just wanted to get some opinions. I know I probably already showed these once a long, long time ago. But now I got, you know, fresh eyes and... You know, some fresh opinions would be cool. Uh, that's the motor I'm using right there for my what I'm calling my short fork chopper. Because it's... The way the frame, I'm going to make everything, you're going to sit really low to the ground. And your feet are going to be forward. And your hands are going to be about shoulder height. And it's going to feel like you're sitting on a long fork bike. But I'm gonna actually use the stock forks. I, I got some wacky plans for this this project. I'm actually making all the frame out of square tubing, not round. I know some people are gonna cringe, like this hillbilly's gonna fucking die. And there is that possibility, but I'll be the one riding it, so it's it's my risk. Uh, but that's just kind of you know a little update, just to put out another video and bullshit with you guys. Uh, as always, you guys have been here with me. I appreciate you. You new cats that came on, I appreciate you. 
If you came on and you left, hey man, it's okay. I, I don't fucking hate you. I'm a big boy. There is my Chihuahua driving a low rider hookah bowl. Somebody gave me for my birthday. It's a Chihuahua riding a 6'4". The weird thing is his eyes are movable, so you can put weird expressions on his face. <laughs> I used it one time. It's, it's pretty much just for looking at. But it's been an awesome day. I hope everybody had a great weekend. And this is just the first of Pat getting back on the horse, getting back on that grind. As you can see, it's in the evening time. Still super nice. Appreciate all you guys. Uh, that's it for now. And until the next one, I got something real to show you. Peace.